With War Thunder's newest update, New Power, we'll be getting access to a new shell for both the mouse and E100 known as the Triebspiegelgeschoss 12.8-8.8cm. I've seen a lot of confusion about what this round is and the historical authenticity of the round, so in today's video we're going to be taking a look at what is known about this experimental shell. Essentially what the round was intended to be would be best known to the majority of people as APHEDS, or Armor Piercing High Explosive Discarding Sabo, and it's just what it sounds like. Rather than a solid core used much more commonly, the Germans opted to use a core with a charge within it. I'll put a picture up right now of what one of these would have essentially looked like, although this one is the 105mm version, not the one we're specifically talking about. Now contrary to popular belief, this isn't just some made-up malarkey dreamed up in some Veribu's wet dream, but rather it did exist and was tested as shown in documentation that survived the war. Now I will admit that some of the information I found is contradictory, but they all point towards the shell's existence. The main source I've seen, and many of you may already be familiar with, is the section taken from Panzer Tracks, showing that a contract was given to Krupp for this ammo specifically for the mouse. But as I'm not one for believing just one snippet, I did some digging to find some more information on this elusive round. So I dug into my Kampfpanzer mouse book, by Michael Freulich to see if there was any mention of it in there. And quick side note, for any of you who are fans of the mouse such as me, I highly recommend this book. It's probably the most in-depth book you can get on the mouse, and I'll leave a link to it in the description. I highly recommend it. But sure enough, I was able to find mention of it inside of that book. This is where the contradictions I mentioned earlier come in though. This book names the shells as having either a 75 or 65 millimeter core. This is possibly a fault on the author's part, however, but it still does point to the existence of such a round. The final bit of evidence I was able to track down during my research for this video was the test sheet detailing different firing tests, which also lists the 12.8-8.8 shell and gives the results of its penetration tests. And now I could go on for probably another 20 minutes just digging through different sources online and picking apart pieces of data, but I think with this, it's safe to say that the round did exist and was tested not just for the mouse, but for many other guns. So there's really no reason for me to drag this video out any longer. From what I can tell, this experimental round was mainly designed to help increase the range of shells, since the Germans were already far ahead of the Allies in terms of penetration, and didn't really need these shells to be able to knock out tanks they faced, especially with tanks with the 128mm, such as the Mouse or the Jagdtiger. But in the end, it seems to have had some major issues that it suffered from, which held it back from further production. As for how this round will perform in-game, I'm not going to be quick to draw conclusions. The increase in penetration could potentially help against armor targets, but whether or not it will suffer similar issues to the 17-pounder with very horrible accuracy on its Sabo remains to be seen. So what do you think of this experimental round being added to the game? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully this video helped you to learn something, or at least helped you to better understand the historical reasons and authenticity behind this edition. If you enjoyed this video, and you want to see some more history type stuff, check out my Curse by Design series, where I take a look at some of the lesser known and rarely talked about tanks and tank technologies, just like this. And be sure to subscribe so you keep up to date on all my newest videos. I hope to see you in the next one.